Hello there, I'm back. I'm actually back from my crafts expo where I had the chance of meeting with a lot of former customers as well as uh, putting my hands on some wonderful stuff. I also did order some stuff that I got delivered by hand to me and it was really nice. So I thought I'd give you a heads up on what I have bought. And I'm also going to show, share with you a couple of new things. You know I like cogwheels. So apart from elephants, owls, cats, witches, and now it's cogwheels and with that the steampunk theme. So here are some wonderful cute little stamps with cogwheel patterns. And these are really tiny. But they are also quite cheap at it. So these are 15 crowns a piece. And they come from a company called Gummi Open. So check that out. GummiOpen.com And I also bought this one which says You Rule. Or You Own. If I would to interpret that or translate that correctly. But You Rule, sort of. And I'm thinking of actually putting this one in Tim Holtz's wonderful ornate plate. I'm thinking that will fit perfectly there. And I also got myself a freebie. Just look at that cute little butterfly stamp there. That was a little bit something that I got. So I'm going to put them there. And now that I am in a UT and melting pot mood, I couldn't help myself buying some more powders. These are actually smaller than the other jars that I've had before. And here is the gold and here is the platina. And these are going to turn out really nice. So, I also actually, as almost a final buy, had the chance of uh, getting these dilution sprays. I first off saw this white one and I'm so excited to try that one out and compare it to that Memories Mists. And this one I actually do like. This one also has a shaker ball in it as well as this one. So I'm excited to see what kind of a comparison I can make out of them. The other one is a turquoise colour and this one is called, could it be Campu? Calypso Teal I'm sure. And this one is Funky Fuchsia. So I'll be looking forward to working with them. I also got two more packages of mold and pour. And now we get to uh, several shops shopping. Here are some wonderful stamps from Inka Dinka Do. Small stamps with a travel theme. This is Paravion Airmail. You are here for you. And there is something sealed or something like that. And there's my journal, my stash or mustache perhaps. Private. And there's something perhaps I, I think it's confidential. And here is for your eyes only. Top secret, hush hush. And uh, well, I think this is the final my for today. Teresa Collins's wonderful clear stamps, Far and Away, this series is called. And I did buy it for this world map here actually. So believe it or not, I live in this country up here. Let's see if I can point it out to you. This small country up here, and I'm approximately here, is where Gothenburg lies. But I was born here in Finland, Kotka Karhula. So it's been a distance. So, and there's also a lovely Eiffel Tower and hot air balloon, which I also love. And destination you are here, good times, travel log, and a stamp that I could actually put in something else in. You know, I, I'm going to take, save them for later. Cogwheels, I've told you to hell of. Can't help myself when I see some. So I actually got my hands on some gears from Paper Mania. Do crafts. This, this series is called Chronology. And there are six cogs. Here is the brand. Docrafts.com. It's a UK company really. I got myself three packages and let's see what else I could show you. There is an embossing folder with a journaling thing. And you know the good thing about Darius's 
uh, parcels is that they actually do send you a couple of uh, coordination sheets so you can get started right away and there's also a piece of sandpaper so you can get scraping that core get that core out so this is a journaling layout and I'm thinking that I might actually do it run it twice through the cattle bag or the big shot or whatever machine I'm going to use first off I'm going to uh, run it through as I'm supposed to and then I'm going to make that core come out then I'm going to run it through twice the, the second time and then that, that way I'm hoping it will get flat because I'm just going to run it through somehow without that embossing folder and I'm hoping to be able to flatten it out and in that case I can actually use it as a journal page without that embossed effect to it. I'll hope I'll be able to do that. Talking about embossing folders I'm going to show you three more packages. You know I do love Tim Holtz and his stuff and since he does have something with a travel theme here, Times Square and such, I just can't help myself when it comes to that. This one, I'm looking at it right now. If I do emboss this, I'm sure I could actually cut these out as separate letters and put them on a project or two. Here's another set with a travel theme. This one is called Airmail. And here's a compass. So I'm hoping I'll be able to use them in a funky, funny way. But I do like that air travel theme there. Here's another one with um, a journey theme to it adventure explore travel route 66 and such and i also fell in love with these small ones i don't know what that is but i like these two so let's see when we're talking about structure and fun looking things couldn't help myself when i saw these funky things from kaiser craft this one is called arty arty right there here is something funky. I do like washi tape and tissue tape and decorative tapes uh, as they are. But just imagine having the possibility of actually stamping these in the colour you want with the dots, with the grid, with the stripes and everything. So this one is called decorative tape pieces. So I think that one is a nice one. And here is something that I haven't seen in that many a place. Here is a bus, there's a boombox, there's a bicycle, there's a hotel, see, um, disc player. And there's a fun one. This one is called Retro. So that's nice. I'm hoping I'll be able to make a nice background paper with that. Here is something with a crack or something. Rocks, this one says. And of course you can actually turn it around so you can have it as a rock wall. And here is something I think could be called crackle actually. So I do like different kinds of crackle effects. And now that I come to think of it, I do actually have a template that also goes in that theme. It's called mini rustic paint, but I do think that you could actually pass this one on as crackle. Then there's something else from Sunrise Sunset. This is Prima. I see. And this one is called, and you know, this is Finna Bayer actually, who has designed this. And I don't know what this one is called. That is one drawback with the Prima stuff. You really don't know what they are called. And here is some kind of a wood grain pattern, also from Prima. And there's no name to this one either, except for the number, of course. And then this big camera. I was thinking that I could actually drag some acrylic paint on top of this and put this in the front of a photo album or something. I mean, if I do like taking pictures, I could never go wrong with this one. That was what I thought when I bought this, this one today. What else have I got here? Well, when I'm in that UT mode, I just saw a video on YouTube that um, actually made me very intrigued and curious of how to work with these. So this is sort of a texture texture tread, this one is called. This one is called wood grain actually. And I'm thinking that either you pour some UT on your 
craft surface like so and you put that one there let it sit for a minute or two lift it up and then you'll have a nice pattern textured surface there and you could actually put on some Inca gold or whatever on top and you have a nice splendid thing but I'm going to see if I'm going if I, if I can find out several ways of working with that going back to the cogs I started with them so when I saw that scrap broke it scrap broke it it's the place that I do design different things from when I saw that the cogs were coming out both from spellbinders this is what it looks like and as for X cut that is do crafts it's the same uh, it's the same British company there just couldn't help myself I had to have them and the one good thing about this package is there is a magnetic sheet in here so you could actually just leave it and put those cogs on top of that it's a nice thing and as you can see you can actually keep that paper on top the magnetic sheet is that strong so you can actually keep it like so so you see what kind of cogs you've got there and uh, you know cogs I saw this fell in love thought I had to give it a go I haven't tried it out yet so I'm really eager to get going and something more from Spellbinders I do like these distressed edges and this one is called S5174 A2 distressed edges and just look at the size of these these are really big and you can really use these for nice text um, saying stamps as well as perhaps make these into card shapes or just have these with that um, distress uh, hmm, let me think about this in Swedish it's called distress ruta some kind of a square you do make with a distress with, with the distress inks and you're going to get a lovely torn effect on your piece of paper I'm going to make a video of that later perhaps because that is a nice technique I just can't wait to show you now we are coming to the end of the things that I bought today actually and I, I have to admit I have been on a shopping spree this week so I mean I just have to stop now otherwise I'll get ruined. Here is something that I couldn't help myself when I saw this I was thinking about the UT and the moulds and everything. You see they've got some wonderful shapes and figures. I do have these I think with the corners. The birds are lovely and that frame is just to die for. Those angels there are pretty also, and I'm thinking that these could be nice to do. Uh, perhaps put on a mixed media layout or something. I'm hoping I'll be able to have some fun with them. And when I met with my friend Anneli from Scrapbrook today, and I had heard the talk about the Kenny K stamps, I had to go there and look for myself. So I started off finding this wonderful girl warrior princess just look at her imagine her with a lot of cogs in the background i mean i almost died i'm telling you then i saw this one frida flapper and i have been looking at an australian tv series actually uh, miss fisher's criminal or detective murder stories or something that's called and i do think of her when i see that stamp so i'm going to make something out of that i'm sure and then oh no you didn't just couldn't help oh no you didn't but I did didn't I so that is what I have bought I'm not sure if I showed you these that I got the last Friday have you seen this one a steampunk owl my goodness it's pretty big and he's a dapper gentleman poised gent I, I do believe I thought I saw I show you these color outside the lines I'm going to make everything around me beautiful that will, that will be my life and there's that hour that of course I have showed you these so I'm going to stop blabbering and I'm going to get started crafting bye bye